we we top tiers today. Churro. Churro. Ah oh, man, dude, actually I haven't had a churro in a hot minute. It sounds really good right now. Well, hopefully uh, churros play reflects how good that sounds then. <laughs> and if you put it that way, it sounds weird, bro. <laughs> bro, you're the one that made it weird. <laughs> you're the one who made it weird with the weird smile and everything and the I laugh. I didn't give you a weird smile. You're the one that. Okay, laughing. we gotta get the we got game one going. So Wolf versus Palu. All right. In your opinion, like, how do you think this matchup goes? I feel like, I think Wolf slightly wins it actually. It it can be rough for Palu because you know she wants to get up there and try and. Air to air you, but Wolf's Nair is so good at like just being out already when Palu wants to be out. Mm -hmm. uh, the issue is, once Wolf's off stage, you know things like down tilt are really gonna come into play because of how easy they are to two frame in general. With the extended hitbox that Palutena's down tilt has, it's mm -hmm. gonna just be a free kill confirm for a lot of stocks for Cho. Yeah, but uh, it's gonna be kind of interesting because you can't really do the Nair stuff against Wolf because his. Like, he mainly plays a grounded game anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, like, he's going to try to get those dash attacks, try to get those grabs. But, man, Churro's actually kind of tricking him out with the, that, like, shortened um, the side explosive bait. flame. Yeah, explosive yeah. flame. Ooh. Right, don't jump into that. Very good stuff from Churro, recognizing that it's likely he lands on that, so he has to just go low again, mm -hmm. reset. He still has this percent advantage, but Iconic does have the stage control. Nice little teleport cancel onto the platform, gets the dash attack. Mm, can't land. up tilt. Can't land straight onto him, bro. You gotta, you gotta land like in front of him. Maybe a little, like, maybe like go for the air dodge. He SD'd. That is also unfortunate. Very. Oh. Okay. So having some sound things, but all right, all right. Maybe we should hey. be good. That sounds better. Oh. Right. Yeah, we're good. All right. All right, all right. All right. Hopefully that didn't sound weird on stream at all, but Iconic has started to take a bit of a lead here. Got just a bit of a percent lead, but it is a lot when you're playing Wolf, obviously. Yeah, honestly. It's going to be, like, because Wolf is about, like, those simple one-two hit confirms. Yeah. And then, like, he kind of just keeps that advantage going for as long as possible. Yeah, and with the plethora of kill options that Wolf has in his arsenal, you know, Palutena has to be scared around this percentage anyways, 116, he's, he'll die to most moves. Mm -hmm. I also feel like Iconic's been throwing out that down smash a lot. Yeah, like, he, he he really wants it to work, but I feel like it's one of those things where if I throw it out enough, it'll eventually work, but he's not really able to find the timing on any of them. Yeah, he's been a bit early on those last two at least, trying to get the two frame. Oh, nice dash attack, though. Revenge stock just eats the dash attack, says, I know you missed space there. I know that there's some landing lag. I'll just get in under it and get the stock. Mm -hmm. But we, had, we got Nair trains going. Oh. Just raw up smash, bro. <laughs> Sometimes you just throw it out there. <laughs> I'm liking it. He's getting a lot of a lot of uh, pressure going on for against Juro. Ooh. A little uh, misstep coming in from Juro. Right, and again, Churro double jumping onto stage with the explosive flame catches Iconic on the ground. Oh, all right, Reflector. No harm done. Yeah, it's like an awkward angle. It starts kind of from the top and then goes down. Well, not only that, but the reflected bullets start to trade with the normal bullets on the way. Yeah. So that it ends up with like one hit going either way. Yeah. That's really it. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like if I were to coach Iconic, ooh, that almost killed him. I would try to go for. A, I would tell him to go for a little, a few more forward tilts. Yeah, the forward tilt instead of the uh, down smash at ledge would probably be really Ooh. good, just because you know it's less laggy. Oh, oh, oh it was a trade, and he just fell to the floor. He got that awkward middle hitbox. Incredible! Like, forget what I was saying, but I want to talk about how Churro mm -hmm. went for that mix-up with their double jump explosive flame mm -hmm. every single time, and Iconic was finally in a position where he was able to jump over it, at least get the trade hit, and win game one because of it. Yeah, kick him right in the face too. Yeah. And Wolf's back are incredibly strong. <laughs> Ridiculously strong. And it's like, it kills at like 85 sometimes. It's really strong, especially it does have a like sweet spot that kills super early. He was able to find it, get the stock off of Churro, mm -hmm. take game number one. And now Churro is going to be counterpicking to Kalos Pokemon League here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this stage is actually pretty solid for Palutena because it's so difficult for Wolf to land in general on Palutena mm -hmm. with those platforms being so far out like it's kind of obvious when 
Iconic's going to be retreating to them and when Tro has to go out there and challenge on the platform. As well as the small side blast zones, things like back throw are going to be so important for Peloton in this yeah. stage. The up air won't be as effective because the ceiling is extremely high. Yeah. But he, the trade-off is is that now he has like one of the best tech chases in the entire game with that platform being if you tech in, you get bared, and if you don't, you get back thrown. Exactly. But nice up air for coming in from Shiro to take out the stock. Yeah, really solid start to game two here. Only 56% after that forward tilt when Iconic sorry, was respawned, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting that nair chain going, but not really going to get much out of it. Nice little pivot grab. Goes for the down throw fair, but that the patch coming out and showing what happened, not able to find it. Did they nerf the size of the hitbox? No, they made down throw send farther away. Oh, yeah, that's true. So that down throw fair doesn't, like, connect, like, as easily or at all anymore. Yeah, I thought it was just more like, it, like, I didn't know it was the base. I thought it was the knockback growth. Like the I mean, higher, you like, can still get like down throw combos at like super low percents, but you're not going to be seeing down throw bear killer. Really. Okay. Ooh, air dodge in. Not sure what the auto rifle out there was for, but he didn't get punished, so no harm done again. Yeah, I think he wanted to be the other way, but even then, that was still sketch. Nice job landing with the reflector. Explosive flame can be reflected. Ooh, Ooh catches it, the jump. And you said it before. If you throw it out there enough times, he yeah, will fall for it. He'll eventually get one. You know, when you only have to take six total stocks, like, that one of them is so important. Facts. Oh, he got hit by the last hit of the Nair. But those Nairs also coming in clutch right now, too. Not getting sent that far out. All right. Getting a little bit. Something started from uh, Iconic, but that back throw nearly killing. Ooh. Air dodge in, not going to get punished. But there's the bear. That's that's like the place you do not want to be against Palutena. No, back to the ledge is like the scariest spot. Especially, you know, it was a really good option. Iconic goes for the F tilt and throws able to jump over it, punish the in leg with a back air. Mm -hmm. Sliding up tilt. And then he, uh, pip I mean, he actually parried it and punished it with an up smash immediately. Yeah, Wolf's up smash out of shield, really solid. Giant hitbox that scoops in tight. Mm -hmm. Doesn't kill as early as his other smash attacks, but I mean, could you imagine if it did? Uh, that would not be okay. But he also low profile, so he yeah. missed out on the other hitbox. I mean, the other um, hitboxes of that move. I thought Tro SD, though, but a perfect angle. Ooh. Hit him with the, the little kick. He's just throwing out smash attacks. He's, he's hoping Tro makes a mistake on that recovery. All right, nice snare coming in. Shiro, aggressive option, not going to get punished, but that bear is pretty safe sometimes. Yeah, very low lag, very hard to punish. Mm -hmm. Oh, got the weak hit of the bear. All right, and Shiro just maintaining stage control, gets F tilted across the stage, but he's not going to die. Mm -hmm. I thought oh, that's not evil yet, but you cannot punish that down smash like that. Mm -hmm. Every time Iconic's going to be able to shield and get the up smash punish. Oh, that up air nearly killing. Oh, nice read coming in from Shiro. Yeah, nice little mix-up right there. Sees, you know what, you're going all the way over there. Probably not going to be able to, like, do much Wolf's aerial mobility. He's kind of committal. He mm -hmm. goes far, but, like, he can't really change direction. Yeah. He's got a... I, I, I know there's a number for that, and it has a term. Like, b the ability to change whether you're going left or going right. I have no idea. I forgot. But, like, I know, like, some of the characters, like, you, my characters, like, Yoshi and... Jigglypuff, like they could move left and right whenever they feel like, because like their momentum isn't carried as strong. But Wolf's momentum's like insanely strong. All right, so Churro yeah. getting 32% already right out the gate on game number three here. Wants to go home with a fir the first W of the night. Yeah, this is a for a for a game. I mean, a pool round one. This is actually it's extremely very close. <laughs> it's very competitive for an early match. Yeah. Oh, he waited for the tech in place, just didn't time it correctly, but he had the idea. Yeah, he he had the idea, but not the execution. Unfortunate. I always say it's the better of the two to have. You know, it's way easier to fix execution than to fix your ideas. That's true. Ooh. Oh, oh. nice. There's that two frame you were talking about with the down tilt. Yeah, go for it Another again. One. And oh. when the, so that angle happens whenever you hit a grounded opponent, they just go straight out. Mm -hmm. It only pops up aerial <laughs> yeah, opponents. The forward tilt pushed him into, he pushed himself into it on accident. It was unfortunate for uh, really Iconic. 
Oh man, I iconic going for that up smash, trying to read the higher recovery. Because that, that would have scooped him in for sure. Iconic throwing out a little too many smash attacks. And, uh, and I, I'm pretty sure Churro at this point has realized, okay, I just need to re respect them. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of Wolf Syndrome, where, like, fair doesn't kill. Up air kills, like, 150-ish, like, mm -hmm. in the air, obviously. Dead. If you can't find the back air, like, it can be hard to kill, so you just start throwing out your safe smash attacks, but eventually you get punished for it. Mm -hmm. Or eventually you find a back air like Iconic was able to. Yeah. Ooh. All right. There's the Nair to down tilt. Imagine if that tripped, he would have got like 30 more percent. Oh, missed out on the timing a little bit. He might have been out of the percent actually, with the rage. Maybe. Bear coming in from Shuro. Couldn't I, get the two frame. Yeah, just barely able to sneak by between the two down tilts that Shuro did. I kind of found the ledge, but charges an up smash again in kind of just a random position, and Shuro was able to throw the explosive flame out. Mm -hmm. That's like Churro's favorite option too. He should uh, Iconic yeah. should have noticed that by now. Yeah, Churro very apt at throwing these explosive flames. Yeah, the, like that the shortened one especially with after the like the the little hop. Far throw to explosive flame, but Iconic jumping out of it. Alright. Churro do, doing a great job of being patient. He realizes I do not need to approach at all. I have a lead. He has to he has to commit way more to kill me than I have to do to get damage on him. Oh, and a nice F to There's no jump here, but Joe turns around. That was the wrong way. Down throw looks for the up smash, but I can't just get a jump out of it. Joe still sitting pretty solidly with two stocks. Iconic has to play so well from now on. Back throw isn't going to kill him. Mm-hmm. Oh, he didn't go for it. Thought I was going to go for the true edge guard. Oh, there's a down tilt. Act that two frame for sure. Is that death? It is. No, it is death, even a with the nerf. for Churro. And good stuff coming in from him. Yeah, and he started to pick that one up super well with games two and three. 